I had just kind of shelved uh, a previous startup that I had founded. So I was looking around for the next thing. Bitcoin seemed to be the thing that was the weirdest. So I looked it up, read the white paper. So that was kind of my first thing, you know, read the white paper, um, saw a whole bunch of Andreas Antonopoulos videos on YouTube. Um, you know, every couple of weeks or so, I would release a new cartoon that had something to do with uh, the culture of crypto. And as I was doing that, I was getting donations from, from people, usually in Bitcoin, but sometimes in Monero and Litecoin. And I was thinking that, you know, like this is not, it was not really enough money to like for me to live on it. I wasn't going to become a professional full-time artist anytime soon. But it was enough that I kind of became a little bit more kind of confident that there was an actual industry here, not just for technology guys, but also maybe for the art community, for the entertainment community, things like that. And, you know, this was all like uh, happening quite at, at the same time as, you know, Bitcoin forking and all of this other crazy drama, right? And the more drama there is, the more stuff there is to talk about. The, the cultural side of it becomes a lot more active. So I was drawing a lot. And um, I guess the more I learned about the, the community and the industry, the more confident I became that, you know, at some point, maybe I don't even really need to keep my money in pesos anymore. And I, this was also kind of, um, kind of coinciding with the fact that the Philippine peso was dropping like a stone. So, you know, uh, January 2017, I decided to just move everything over to Bitcoin. Um, and I've kind of been just been living that way ever since. So I always feel a little weird because it's the one that took basically no time to make. Um, so and this was one of my very first ones. It was like this Bitcoin gingerbread man. So it was like a gingerbread man with a Bitcoin logo on it and his legs are falling apart and the crumbs are like running away from him. And on the crumbs are the Ethereum logo, the Litecoin logo, the Monero logo. Um, so. And it was kind of a cartoon about how Bitcoin was losing market share to all of these altcoins. And we're at about 50% uh, now, but like back then to have lost like 10%. So we went down from 90 to like 80. And that was a huge deal. Like the community went crazy because they thought that, you know, Bitcoin was dying. So that kind of gingerbread man cartoon was kind of this little cute thing. And I still see it in San Francisco shirts. So it's like when I go to a random meetup in San Francisco, someone will be wearing a shirt of that gingerbread man. It took me 30 minutes to make that stupid cartoon. And I've got cartoons that have taken me two months to make, and it doesn't get anywhere near that kind of uh, um, exposure. So anyway, yeah, so that's kind of my most, my most popular one. Um, but I think the one that I'm most proud of is the Last Supper. Um, so there's the, the name of the piece is Supper at the Bitcoin Moon Base. And it's kind of a parody of the classic Da Vinci Last Supper painting except that instead of Jesus, I have Dorian, of course. So Dorian's in the middle and then he's surrounded by the Bitcoin core developers. Um, and that took a really long time to make. Not to mention that I still get crap right now to this day because there were some faces and names that I didn't include amongst those 12 core developers. But, you know, you can't please everyone, unfortunately. So the other one was, um, so this is kind of a spoiler for Game of Thrones. Wow, like from three years ago. Um, there's an episode where Hodor is holding a door shut um, and kind of I reimagined that piece where he's saying Hodlor instead and then like the, the zombie hands are all going sell, sell, sell behind him. And that one was kind of pretty popular as well. That took more than 30 minutes. It took maybe an hour to do. And again, like it was way more popular than any of the ones where I really killed myself to make it, make the cartoon really complex. But I don't know. That's just, that's just the world, I guess.